So the purpose of this video is to look at the pendulum and pendulum variations. Um, first off a basic pendulum, um, this is indicating like a fixed ceiling. Um, it looks like a mirror on its side but it's indicating a fixed ceiling. Pendulum <coughs> has a, uh, a mass on the end of a string and swings through a particular arc, um, maybe at an angle, <coughs> excuse me, theta there. Um, when you're looking at the forces on a pendulum, because pendulum is uh, what's called simple harmonic motion, um, if you don't know about simple harmonic motion, basically simple harmonic motion um, is defined by um, a restoring force um, which is proportional to um, the displacement y, which would be the distance from the equilibrium position in the middle that that mass has gone to. So, And the negative indicates that the force is always back towards the centre. Um, <clears throat> so the pendulum obeys this. That's why it's simple harmonic motion. Um, and there's an equation for the pendulum which looks kind of funky. 2 pi square root L, which is the length L of the pendulum, over G. And so G is the um, gravitational field strength, 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Um, <coughs> the, this formula is quite important to know, especially at level 3. Um, and you can learn how to derive it. I might do a separate video deriving this formula because it's one of the really cool derivations. There's two tricky assumptions which have to be made and a lot of very careful understanding of the concepts uh, that build in to get um, to this formula. So if you can understand how to get this formula, how to derive it, you'll have a pretty good understanding of a lot of physics. Okay, I want to cover a couple of variations of the pendulum. And they're all simple harmonic motion variations. There's something called the broken pendulum, um, which is, as it might sound it's a pendulum which has been broken um, here's our, our normal pendulum um, but in the middle in the center there's a fixed rod okay and as the pendulum swings past it'll hit that rod and then it'll swing through at a shorter so as it's coming this way um, the, it'll swing through at a shorter length so we've got this um, what we would call maybe the broken length and the normal length here so, uh, in effect, this is two half pendulums added together. Two half pendulums of different lengths. One is a long L length, and the other is a small B length. Um, so, if you were writing an equation for this, um, it would be period is half of 2 pi square root L over G, which is just pi square root L over G, plus pi times square root the broken length over G. So, that's if we look at the pendulum equation above <coughs> 2 pi squared L over G. We've dropped the 2 because we're only interested in half the period because it stops halfway through and it becomes a different length over here. Um, and then we're interested in the same thing here but we've got L and, uh, B instead of L uh, and we've dropped the 2 again because it's only half because when it comes back the other half is at the longer length. So that's a pretty cool <coughs> uh, variation. Another couple of really quick variations. Um, variations, is that what I said? I'm a little bit sick, so it's, my brain's a wee bit foggy. Um, you can have uh, a, a pendulum set up like this, where you've got, um, where you've got a, uh, a, like a log of wood or something um, down the bottom here, and two strings here. And you can either set it in motion by rocking it side to side. Um, so that's, that's going to have problems if one of the strings shortens too much and you get like a... Um, uh, I don't know, jumping um, and in inconsistent forces. But anyway, that's that's one variation. You can also twist this so that um, you you would sort of twist it around one way, wind it up so that these verticals uh, start to twist and wrap around together a, bit, a little bit like um, a DNA spiral, and then you let go and it unwinds. But uh, what that's called a torsional pendulum, I believe. Um, and uh, they all more or less follow the same the rule. Um, it is, uh, as far as I understand it, simple harmonic motion. I don't know the equations for these, but I would imagine you could um, come up with variations of the above equation, which would, which would work. This one here, the torsional pendulum, seems like it might be more of a spring situation. Uh, so yeah, the this one here is a torsional. It might be more of a spring situation. So the um, the equation might not be quite the same, but. So there you go, it's a pendulum and some variations.